happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a huge dollar tree haul for you all so you all know i'm in the process of organizing my nail room and i wanted to stop by my local dollar tree to see what items i could find and y'all i hit the jackpot so did you all know that there's like super dollar trees which i had no idea about i was in a different city not too far from my house and I needed to stop by Dollar Tree to pick something up and I just went to the closest one to me and when I say y'all they had everything in there like all the organization all the storage everything 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 um so that Dollar Tree was huge they even had different sections where items were three dollars items were five dollars I mean I even got a footstool for crying out loud like at a Dollar Tree um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all everything that i picked up um and this isn't just from that that super dollar tree these are also some items that i purchased that i've been purchasing slowly from like different dollar trees that's close to my house but anywho i'm gonna hop right on into this so um primarily i'm focusing on organization um but i do have just like a few just like random miscellaneous items that i'm going to be using for my nail room so um the first few items i want to show here is some backgrounds um, so these are just like different, um, so this is actually wallpaper, right? So this is wallpaper that you're supposed to remove and like stick on the wall or whatever. But I thought it would be cute as a backdrop for some of my videos. And so, yeah, I picked this up from Dollar Tree. Um, this, all these items, they were a dollar and 25. Y'all know Dollar Tree recently increased their prices. But yeah, for a buck 25, I thought this was really cute. So this is one of the backgrounds. Um, I also picked up this wood finish background, which I thought which was really cute, you know. Um, I also picked up this brick background. I don't know when I would use this. Maybe if I'd ever do like some graffiti nails or whatever. But I just thought this was really cute. So I also picked this up. And then I picked this up, which I, which I thought was also really adorable. So yeah, y'all. So I'm going to try to be more festive with my backgrounds. I normally stick to like a marble finish that's because that's kind of my thing. But I've been wanting to try some new things. So I picked those up. And then they did have some three packs as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up and show you guys what those look like. So this is from the first pack here. This is beautiful lavender purple background color. Really like this. That goes really well with these nails here, doesn't it? Yeah, I just thought this was really cute, really pretty. Then they also have, let's see, this beautiful green background. So this will be good for like Easter and or St. Patrick's Day. We also have this beautiful vibrant pink color here. Again, loving it. think that's really cute. Okay, so this right here shows the three colors that's included in it. So this was the pastel collection. And then here it is the metallic collection. So this one has three in here as well. Let's show you all what this looks like. All right, so that's that. And so that's just, you know, a nice little standard metallic background here. Okay. We also got this beautiful kind of brown color. Okay. It's picking up a lot lighter than it is in person. But yeah, it's a beautiful, like, yeah, you can see how it's kind of like a brown metallic color. That's what that looks like. And then we also have this color here. Which between the two, I'm definitely liking the, the pastel colors more. But yeah, that is what I picked up from Dollar Tree in regards to my backgrounds. I want to show you all really quick um, what the Super Center had. So this is actually a footstool. Um, I'm going to zoom out so you all can see it a little bit better. This isn't anything that I need for... Um, this isn't anything that I'll be using when I film, but when I'm editing my videos, I actually don't have anywhere comfortable to rest my foot. So yeah, they actually had a footstool at Dollar Tree, you guys, and I actually paid five bucks for it. So yeah, if y'all ever find a super Dollar Tree, definitely go and check them out. I never even thought that I can get a footstool from Dollar Tree. It's super cute. So I picked up two of these and it kind of matches the decor in my home office. My home office, the color is like white and gold. And so this like matches perfectly. And then for my kind of nail room side of the home office, um, my colors are like white and this like rose. It's white and essentially rose gold. The other thing that I picked up that's kind of more so for my home office is this, um, 
cell phone mount. So this was a part of the a section where it was like $5, but I thought this was really helpful. It says great for video chatting, work from home, making videos and more. So I got this for if I'm doing any conference calls and or if I'm like wanting to do like some TikTok videos and things like that. So yeah, let me actually show you all what this looks like. So yeah, I've actually already used this a couple of different times. So this is what it looks like out of the box. And I like it a lot too. So I just set my phone here. And like I said, I can just, you know, be FaceTiming people. And if I want to do like TikTok videos. And then I also got it too for the purposes of maybe doing some lives with you all. So I can put my camera here like this. And then while I'm doing my nails, we can maybe do some lives on YouTube. Let me know how y'all feel about that. I did mention at the beginning of the year, lives is something I definitely want to try to do more of. But yeah, I like this little thing. I thought it was really cool and that was a really good price for it to be five bucks. So yeah, if you all ever see this at y'all Dollar Tree, pick it up. I also picked up, this is just like wire baskets. So I also picked up some wire baskets here. So I have three different sizes. I have this circular basket here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I have this circular basket here. This is something that maybe you can put like towels in. Um, if you are a nail tech, you can put towels in this. Um, you can maybe put like gloves in it, mask, etc. So I thought this was really nice, but I actually bought this for my home office. I also picked up this this basket, which is more like rectangular. Again, you all, you know, be you know, use your imagination. You can use this for a variety of different things. And then I also picked up a, a larger rectangular one. So that's what this looks like here. And again, like you can hold a lot of different things in here. So yeah, I picked those up. And then I hauled these in a different video before, but these are just like more um, wall mounts and such. I got these so that I can either hang my swatch sticks or just if I need to hang other things um, by my nail disc, I can use these for that. Also too, another thing this might, something that this might be good for is like swatch sticks. So if you have swatch sticks, you can like put them in here to hold all your swatch sticks if you need a place to put them at. So I just thought about that while I was uh, filming. I have another basket that I got as well. I picked up this basket here. I bought this specifically just to hold all of my swatch sticks in. So whenever I'm getting ready to film and I need to grab some swatch sticks, I'm gonna put my, my short square ones here and my stiletto ones here. And when I'm getting ready to film and need to do some swatches, it'd be a lot easier for me to just grab what I need and go. So I thought this was a really cool Nikki item to get. But yeah, I got this as well. Next item I picked up is a storage container. So this is from the Super Dollar Tree. This was three bucks, but I thought this was really cool because it's actually an adjustable sorting case. So as you all can see, I can actually take out like certain parts of it and make it like longer for storage. So not the whole thing isn't adjustable. It's just, I think it's just the top and the bottom. So yeah, it's just the top and bottom that's adjustable. But I thought this would be really cool for if you wanna store like nail files, if you wanna store chunky charms, if you wanna store maybe um, your lint-free wipes and such. I mean, there's so much space in here. Like this, this part can adjust. So it could be this huge container. So it could be this huge section here. You can put this in and cut it off here. You can decide to cut it off here. Same with this, you can move this out and open this whole section up. You can put like nail art brushes. I mean, you name it, like this this thing has endless possibilities with it. So I actually picked up a few of these from my Dollar Tree, but yeah, they were only three bucks. And like I said, the main reason I liked it is because it's an adjustable storage case. So yeah, got that. The next item I picked up, so I actually saw this on Blue Rose Nails channel. I've seen these at my Dollar Tree a lot but I never even thought to pick them up. And so she was doing an organization video and she had mentioned um, if you see these that if you see these at Dollar Tree, snag them and snag a lot. And so I went back to my Dollar Tree like the day, like a day or two after I had originally saw them after I watched her video, and I picked up every last one of them that they had. So this right here is an acrylic storage case. And what I like about this is it's essentially a drawer, right? So let me see if I can open this for you all. Yeah, this is just an acrylic storage case with a drawer and the drawer actually comes all the way out which I really like 
so I actually don't have any drawers at all whatsoever in my nail room and so I have to think of alternative ways to store my items and so having this to be able to make like a custom drawer is really helpful so I picked up a few of these actually I picked up all of the ones that they had I had I picked up like nine of them and so what I like about it is that you can stack them on top of each other and create like your own DIY like acrylic um, drawer case so yeah I really like this a lot so I'm glad I went back and picked those up I wanted to show you all what it looks like when you stack it as a drawer so I have two of these right and then I just stack one on top and then if you're looking at it face up then now I just created like a little drawer. in order to have these two stick together I did buy some um, some double-sided tape here and so what I'll do is I'll put some double-sided tape here and here and then just attach the two together so that way I can have like a little you know drawer storage so yeah that's that. I also picked up some more like storage items. Like I said, I don't have drawers, so I like using this type of item to be able to quickly grab my items. And then also in my nail foil organization video, you all saw that in my nail desk, I have these to kind of help me sort and organize things. So I did pick up another one of these, just so you all can have an idea of how I use this. Um, so I normally pull this out. This is, um, in my nail desk and I'll store things like my gel top coats, base coats, mini mini LED lamp. I also have it to where I use it to store like different nail art items. So here I have another one where I have stored like, um, you know, slip solution, foil glue, go for flakes things like that so the possibilities are endless with this um, you know metal tin but yeah I like these a lot so I picked up another one of these I also picked this up this is just a rectangular you know storage container sorter that you can put inside of your drawers um, and or um, on shelves and things like that where you can easily pull them out so I picked up three of these I think these are gonna be nice I like that it has like the little grip here at the bottom I also picked it up in a different size it's a little bit longer you know something maybe you can store nail art brushes you know files buffers extra supplies things like that so this is nice and really long I plan to put this in my uh, drawer for more organization options. I also picked up these rectangular flexible storage bins. I really like this. So the way I'm planning on organizing things, I like to have the flexibility of this just in case there's a spot where it doesn't fit perfectly in. It maybe can bend a little bit and mold to go in there. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in this stuff yet. I just bought a lot of random storage items so that when I'm organizing my nail room, I have plenty of options of where I wanna put things. So I bought, I think I bought four of these actually, but I um, ended up using one in my laundry room because I reorganized my laundry room too, y'all. I guess I'm in an organization phase because I'm organizing my whole house. The next item I got here is this rectangular bin here. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. So yeah, that's what this looks like. It has a handle. And again, you know, maybe you can store dip powders in here. You can store swatch sticks, um, different things. But like I said, I don't have a drawer, so I needed something where I could just kind of like pull out. And so I'm either gonna put this, I think I'm gonna put this in the wardrobe where I have um, my extra nail supplies in. So I got three of these and I got them in gray, okay. I also picked up these little small square storage cubes. And one thing I like about these is that they actually connect to one another. So if you wanted to connect them, you could, or if you wanted to keep them separate, you could. But I thought this was like a cool item that, like I say, you can have to, you know, have further organization and sorting options in your nail room. So I picked this up. So I thought these were really cute. I actually found some mini trash cans at Dollar Tree. I mean, the color isn't exactly what I would want, um, but it's yellow. So, you know, yellow is my favorite color. I like it. Um, these are actually for the car. It's like a car garbage can. You put it in like where you would put a cup holder in. But I thought this might be kind of cute to keep on a nail desk, depending on your decor. Um, and you can just like, you know, different cotton swabs and, you know, just random little um, lint-free wipes and things like that. As we mess them up, we can just kind of put them in this trash can. So I like the idea of this. Um, and you know, you can always kind of like maybe bedazzle it and deck it out. That way it might look better in your nail room. But I thought this was a really cool thing to have for a nail space, you know, just so that, like I said, trash when it accumulates, you can just throw it in the little trash can. I thought this was cute. 
And they also had a second option for one. And this kind of looks like a mini recycle bin. I just think this thing is absolutely adorable. I've had this in the past, actually. I have a purple one that I keep in my car. And when I saw that they had it again, I was like, let me go ahead and um, get this for my nail room, you know? So I don't think it's something I'll keep out on my desk, but maybe I'll pull it out as I'm doing sets and stuff and just have it sitting in the corner and then it can just be my little trash can. When I'm done, I can dump it out, you know? So I like this for that. And looking at the bottom of it, it's actually a pencil holder. I don't think I would have thought this was a pencil holder, but yeah, that's what it's for. And it's cute. It has like little wheels and stuff so it can roll around. Yeah, I just think this is adorable. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to keep this out on my desk because it's it doesn't fit my decor. But when I'm doing a set, it's easy to just pull out and maybe have it sitting in the corner so I can have a trash can here on my desk. So that's another option for you all to just think about if you can find this at your Dollar Tree. I also picked up this cute little thing here. I just thought it was cute. I don't know what I would put in it, but I picked it up, thought it was cute. Maybe I could put some trinkets and things like that in it. I did pick up another one of these. I really like this for organizing my um, nail art brushes. So this is the one that I'm currently using. And this is where I keep like all of my nail art brushes at. So I picked up more so I can kind of further sort them out because I'm starting to get a pretty big collection of um, these, what is this, the poly gel brushes. So I kind of would like to keep all of my poly gel brushes in one, all of my detail brushes in one, my dotting tools in another, etc. So I just kind of want to further organize things and I think this is great for that. So I picked up another one of these. Okay, so this was really cool. I was shocked to find this at Dollar Tree. So this is really cute. I think this is like a caboodle. Um, so it's a cosmetic case. So this is like a, ca a caboodle cosmetic case, right? And this is cute. It has like the little stripes here. But y'all, you pop this open, right? And it has like a tray and everything. You see this? So you can like put nail implements and tools here. You can put some other type of tools. And then it also has a mirror. Like what? Like, I just thought this was so cute. So I picked up a few of these. And even if I don't keep it for myself, I can always like put some items in here and gift it to like a friend or family member or something. So I just thought this was like really cute and really adorable. So I have this. I also picked this up again, just more storage. Again, just more storage options. I thought it was cute with the little unicorn. So if I can't find a, a use for it here in my nail room, I will go ahead and move it to my daughter's room. And I know that we'll be able to use it there. Maybe I can put her crayons and such in it. But I thought this was cute. Also picked this up. This was different. This is a retractable holder. And so what you do is you just twist it out, right? And so you can hold different size brushes, pencils, pictures, etc. So I thought this was really cool. Um, I originally got it for the purpose of maybe storing my acrylic brushes in here. And the reason I want to store my acrylic brushes in here is because, y'all, those things smell. So right now I just have them out in the open inside of my closet in my nail room. And um, yeah, it like really smells up this place. So I bought this just to try to help contain the smell of my acrylic brushes. And I like the fact that, like I said, you can twist it and it can adjust to whatever size brush you need. So I thought this was really cool. This was in the craft section at Dollar Tree. So yeah. Next here is just another random storage container. Again, not exactly sure what I want to do with it, but I have it. So yeah, I'll find a use for it here. Another storage container. Um, this one is pink, a little bit smaller. I got this for the idea of maybe putting like nail charms in it. And this one also kind of sort of has adjustable which I didn't even know. Um, but this has like one little tab here. I guess you can put it in different slots and make it smaller or bigger. So then it makes me think that these is missing some. Aww. But yeah, I didn't even notice that at first. But yeah, you have the option to make them smaller or you can make it bigger. So that's that. I didn't know this was adjustable. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I also picked up another one of these. I showed you all this earlier. This is for like the nail pencils and such. I did pick up some of these. So at first when I picked this up, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with it, but I've since figured out what I want to do. So I just placed an order on Shein where I wanted to, um, so they have like the little small rectangular clear pieces of uh, acrylic plastic and the double sided tape. And so you can put your like um, press on nails or display your nails. And so all the sets that I've done, I keep them, I have them in like my, like my little nail jar or whatever. 
all of my old sets and I would like to organize them and so those little um, rectangular cards I plan to put them in here and stack them straight across and then this is just where I would store all of my previous set sets so I like the idea of putting them in here and I bought two of them so that the more sets that I do the more that I can store I guess I need to think about um, if my nail sets are a little bit taller I didn't really consider that so if they're a little bit taller maybe I'll be able to use this for that I purchased um, these little, they're diaper disposal bags, but I purchased them as like trash bags for my little tiny um, trash cans that I showed you all earlier. I also picked up this little drawer organizer. It's two drawers here and it pulls out. Again, you guys, I don't have drawers in my nail room. And so I picked this up because I have something similar. So this right here is what I currently use. And I also picked this up from Dollar Tree a few years ago. A few years ago I used to keep my makeup in it but now I keep like my nail supplies in it so here I just have like the tools that I use most often like my um, uh, nail clippers um, this is like nail art holder uh, just different things in here items that I use frequently and then I keep my nail drill down here and so I found this to be very useful I use this every single time I do a set so I figured I'd pick up a second one just in case I needed more drawer space this is actually really random, but I thought it was really pretty. This is just like a hair clip that I got from Dollar Tree. I thought this was super cute. So who knows? I mean, I could find for a use for it in my nail room. But um, yeah, I really just got it for my hair because I thought it was cute. I picked up some more of these hooks. Again, I got these to hang up swatch sticks. And um, I also got it too to maybe um, hang cords off of. Like if I have cords that I kind of need quick access to but don't want them, don't always want to have to dig for them, I could use a hook where I could just like hook the cord around it so it's easy access. So I picked up two of those. I also picked up some double sided pop dot adhesives. Um, I also got this as another option to um, adhere my acrylic cases together, but not exactly sure what I'm going to use this for, but I'm sure I can find. A use for it here if not in my nail room in my house for sure I have a few more storage containers here so I was really happy to find these so these this is actually a snack container but I like the fact that it has a lid you can open it up here and you can store like different items here and then it has this little section that you can open up and store even more items here so not exactly sure what I will use this for really cool um so I think I'll be able to find a use for it and if I can't find a use for it here in my nail room I'll definitely be able to find a use for it for my daughter um you know packing snacks and things like that for her but yeah I thought these were really cool so I picked up a few of those next I picked up some more small little trays here like I said I just got a lot of random items just to um have some options of what I wanted to how I wanted to organize my space I thought this was really cool. I picked this up. This is actually like a pencil holder. Or at least that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, yeah, it is a pencil holder. But that's what I'm gonna use it for. So I got this to have so that um, I could easily access my things. So while I do like this little thing that I have here, sometimes, especially if I have long nails, it's really hard for me to get the items out and I constantly have to dig around for it. So I figured having something like this, I'd be able to, especially with like brushes and such, just organize everything here like this and just be able to quickly access it, you know? Well, not necessarily this stuff here. This stuff is a little bit too small for this. Um, but maybe like my nail art brushes, like so this right here. So I can maybe put my brushes here like that. My dotting tools can go in here pretty easily, maybe at the bottom here. Yeah, so. So yeah, I'm thinking like maybe my dotting tools can go here at the bottom, you know, my, my poly gel brushes can go in here, you know, just different brushes, acrylic brushes and things like that. I just like the idea of it being easier to access than me having it in the drawer. So yeah, that's what I got this for. So yeah, that's what I got this for. I picked this item up. I was super excited about this item. So I currently have a wardrobe where I keep most of my excess nail supplies or surplus nail supplies. And um, yeah, I keep them in, actually, I keep them in bands like this, right? This isn't really effective for me because all of my stuff, everything is on top of one another. And so I can't really see what I have without pulling it out and having to dig through stuff. But these are really good. I actually did pick this up, you know, recently too. This one matches the decor in my room a little bit better. You see how that matches? So I picked this up just in case I needed some more of these um, for my wardrobe. 
um, and also maybe to just keep underneath my nail desk for um, surplus items but yeah I got this but this is actually a more effective way I feel like to store my things it has a lid here so I can uncaps it here open it here pop it off and it also has a handle so I really like the idea of this and so what I plan to do is like label it here and um, maybe I can have one for my dip powders, one for my poly gels, one for, you know, extra files, extra brushes, you know, just a lot of ways to just further sort my items, maybe my acrylic powders. So I like the idea of having these little things here. And these were only a dollar and 25 cents. So I thought this was a great steal. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. So yeah, I thought this was a great steal for this container. And like I said, I plan to put labels here at the front. And with that being said, the next thing I got here are some labels. <laughs> I got that for my acrylic storage um, bins. And what I like about these is that you stick it to the front of it and then there's like a piece of paper that you can stick in and write whatever you, and write whatever is inside of, um, oh yeah, here's the paper here. So you can write whatever is inside of the, of the storage container. And what's nice about that is I can always change it out whenever I want to. So say if at one point I store poly gels there, Later, I want to store dip powders there. I can always go in and just write something new. Um, so I like that it's like reusable. And then before I found these, I actually had picked up um, these here, which is like chalk, chalk, chalk board crop it stickers. So you can actually cut these out and stick them onto something and then have like a chalk surface to write on. Um, so I did pick these up before I saw the other labels, but I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for this. I actually just reorganized my laundry room. And so I actually think putting these on the white bins in my laundry room would be perfect. So yeah, I do have this. Just a few more items y'all. If y'all have hung in there with me so far, Thank you so much. But y'all, I just found so many goodies at the Dollar Tree and I just want to share them with you all and just encourage you to shop around because I found so much good stuff. Oh, actually these are the last two items. Okay, cool. So I also found these storage containers. These are similar to the other ones where you just, uh, the sides um, pop off and then snap together. So um, yeah, this is a three case container. And the main reason I got it is because again, it matches the decor in my nail room. I have this in my nail room. I have this in my nail room. All of this stuff, it kind of, it's just in the same color family. And so I wanted everything to look nice and cohesive. And actually, that's another reason why I like the, this storage container. You all see the handle also matches my nail room. So yeah, and then I picked up this basket again, matching the decor. So I'm um, not sure exactly what I want to store here yet, but I'm happy to have this storage option as well that matches. And uh, yeah, y'all, I think that's actually it. That is everything that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree, you all. I just want to encourage you all to make sure you shop around. Um, if you don't find something at one Dollar Tree, go to a different one because they might actually have it there. Um, this stuff is an accumulation of me shopping around at maybe like four or five different Dollar Trees. So yeah, if you don't find it at one, definitely look around, you'll find it at another one. And if you all have a super Dollar Tree, y'all are very lucky, go in there and look around because y'all can find a lot of hidden gems. All right, you guys, so this is everything that I picked up at my local Dollar Trees. Cause I did go around and shop at a couple of different items. I could not even fit everything into the frame here because it's just so much stuff. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, in case you all are wondering, I do have full tutorials on these sets that I did and I will leave them linked in the description in case you all want to know how I got these beautiful nail designs. But yeah, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm in the process of organizing all of my nail stuff in my nail room. I have already released a few nail organization videos, so there's definitely gonna be more to come because how I organize things originally, I'm actually switching it up because I'm finding more effective ways to organize my space to be able to do my nail sets a lot quicker. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursday Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails, okay? And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!